Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a tutorial for this monochromatic look featuring soft taupe colors and I did partner with Maybelline New York to bring you this look today featuring their chaotic lashes trend. So head on over to Maybelline's YouTube channel and subscribe for more makeup-y goodness. So why don't we get started with the tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is take the blush nudes palette by Maybelline and this has 12 different rose colors and different shades of taupe. I'm going to start with this lighter shell color in the upper left hand corner and just pack that underneath my eyebrow for a brow highlight. So what I like to do first is apply it all over my brow bone and kind of blend it down a little bit. Then I usually like to take a little bit more and really pack that just right under the arch of my brow so that it's lightest and brightest there. Then I'm gonna dip into my favorite color in the palette, you guessed it, it's this dusty rosy taupe shade right here. And I'm gonna apply that with a big fluffy crease brush in circular motions. So I'm blending that onto basically the upper crease area and just layering it on to build up the color. And instead of switching colors, I'm going to use that exact same shade, this time with a bit of a smaller brush. This one is more of a tapered crease brush, and I'm just applying a bit more into that outer area of my lid right into the crease just to deepen everything just a touch. And then I wanna go back to that lighter cream color and start packing that onto my lid. So I'm applying this color in a couple layers because I want it to be as light and bright as possible and really, really opaque. So I'm going to keep building that up on the lid until I get the lightness that I want. And then I'm also going to use the same color as my inner corner highlight using the same brush. I do like to blend in between layering on my lid color and then I'll go back and pack on just a little bit more of that lighter shade just to make sure the crease color and our lid shade really pop against each other. And I used a mix of a bunch of different colors on the lower lash line starting off with this rose gold shade. And I put this one down first as a base so that the other colors would blend out a little bit easier. And then I went back in with this darker purpley color and I applied that to just the very outer corner of my lower lash line. And I'm just using a small fluffy blending brush. And then I went back in with this taupe and basically filled in the inner part of the lower lash line with that color. I like to spend a little bit of time with the placement and blending of the colors on my lash line because I feel like that can do just as much if not more to enhance the shape of your eyes than the shadows on your lid can. So then I'm going to take this darker purpley brown and apply it to my upper lash lines with an angled brush and I'm just building up the color slowly so I don't get too much fallout and trying to create more of a softer line on that upper lash line. Then I'm gonna take this little eyeliner by Maybelline. This is the Master Drama Eyeliner in Midnight Master. And this is a black color, so I'm applying this to the lower water lines and tight lining the upper lash line as well. I also like to go back in with that same angle brush just to press the liner into my lashes so the line is a little bit more smooth. Then I'm going to curl my lashes before applying my mascara. And I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Chaotic Lash Mascara, which has a big old brush that looks like this. So I'm gonna scrape off the excess on the end of the tube and then start applying it like I normally would apply my mascara, just brush through my lashes from the roots to the tips. Then for more of a messy, kind of disheveled lash look, I'm gonna go back this time using the very tip of the brush and going back and forth in horizontal motions. This is gonna separate my lashes and just kind of make them look a little bit more disorganized, which I feel like the trick to pulling off this look for me was to do the monochromatic makeup and very, very soft eyeshadow, so it kind of lets the lashes stand out a little bit more. And if you guys come up with your own looks using the chaotic lash trend, make sure to use the hashtag brush with chaos so that I can see what you come up with. And then I'm going to curl my lashes one more time by just pressing upwards with my eyelash curler. I'm not actually clamping down on my lashes. Then I'm going to bronze my skin using the master bronze in the shade vacation bronze, which is perfect because for this look, I don't want to use a really orangey bronzer. I want something that's a little bit more of a reddish like terracotta color. I feel like that complements the 
the colors we used on the rest of the face. After that, I'm gonna use one of my favorite drugstore products of all time. This is the Maybelline Master Highlight, highlighting blush in the color Nude. And this is so gorgeous because if you apply a little bit, it looks like more of a highlighter. If you apply a little bit more, it looks like more of a really glowy blush highlighter combo all in one. And it's this gorgeous, really natural pink color. So I'm just building it up a little bit more so I can get that color to show through. So to finish off this look, I wanted to give you guys a couple different lip options. So starting off with the first one, this is one of the Color Sensational Lipsticks by Maybelline. This is one of the buffs called Nude Lust. So this is actually kind of a grayish nude, which I've been really into lately, and this color is so, so gorgeous. You can see what it looks like right here. And I am applying it just a little tiny bit above my cupid's bow on my upper lip only just to give more of a pillowy pouty look to the lips and if this is a little bit too much taupe for your taste you could also take another color like this one this is one of the creamy matte lipsticks in touch of spice and I'm just lightly dabbing that right on top to infuse a little bit more of that nutmeg shade into the lip color so that is the final completed look and after I get my hair situated of course and I hope you guys enjoy this monochromatic makeup look using different shades of taupe and thank you guys so much for checking it out as always I love you and appreciate your support and I will see you very soon in my next video bye